Guess who's got grass that's growing? What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. We got growing grass. Yes, we do. So what I was able to do is able to find Eustace Farmer on YouTube. Had a whole video on how to add grass to maps that don't have the grass texture added to it. Turns out there was just one line of code that I had to add in there. There was just one little thing that hadn't been added. It was one line. I think it was like three lines total that you need to add. So what I've done is I've gone through and put it everywhere where I was going to. So I kind of filled in all the areas around and all that good stuff. But this is not done. The entrance is so boring. So for right now, we are going to make the entrance look nice. We're going to add stuff around. And also, we're going to come in here and we're going to get some new tractors put in. First things first, let's go in here. I want to put a gate down. And now there's a couple different gates that we've got. There's one in particular that I have in mind. It is a wooden gate. I'm trying to stay with the wooden theme here. So people were telling me, DJ, why are you using like an old European style house on a farm that's meant for <laughs> on an American farm? I was like, uh, I wanted it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no explanation. It looked great, and I wanted to have it, so I had it. Let's see. Let's put this about right in here. I think about right there is going to be good. Can we raise this up and down? Yeah, we can, but it really doesn't matter that much. So let's put that about right there. Perfect. Pop out. Make sure that it opens in. Please open in. Please open in. Please open in. Yes! <laughs> All right, so it opens in, which is good. The problem is, I was going to put some stuff right there. Oh, man. All right. We will uh, we will get this done. We're going to keep it in the open fashion here. I'm going to go back into decoration because there's a couple other things in here that I want to use. And it should be right after the trees. Right here. Placeable hedge. This is something I really wanted to add in here. I thought this would give it kind of a nice bit. <laughs> nice bit? What am I saying here? So let's get it about right there. Make it seem like it's picking up right at the end. I don't know how that's going to look or if it's going to change the ground, which it does. Oh, boy. This ought to be fun. So it changes the ground, so we're going to have to come through and really fix that because that's not the way I wanted that to happen. And we'll put another one kind of just down right here. Boom. That doesn't look too bad, does it? No, nah, not at all. And we're going to do the exact same thing over here gonna find where it kind of looks to be almost right there at it about right there it looks good oh gonna have to fix that that's bad and we're gonna put another one right beside it this is probably gonna do the exact same thing and just make it not the way I wanted it yep time to go in and make a few changes so now what I've got to do is I've got to come into sculpting and I'm gonna bring that brush strength all the way up we're just going to smooth this out. You can see it plopping in probably. This was the issue that placing those placeables down caused, which is kind of stinky, but it is what it is. We're also going to have to come through and we're going to have to paint that grass again. It is what it is. It's fine. We've got to do it. And we'll come through here. About like that again. Just nice and slow. Just rock through here nice and slowly, bringing the ground up around where it's supposed to be brought up. Bring it down where it's supposed to be brought down. About right there. That's good. Yeah, let's close the gates and see how this looks. It's not awful by any means. I've made terrible looking stuff before. This ain't too bad. This kind of looks like my old entrance to work way, way back when. This is cool. Oh, I like this. Okay, all right, all right. Let's go back in to this and we're going to go into painting because... Now what I want to do is I want to get all of this back the way I want it. So, let's see, let's get the gravel through there, gravel through there, kind of bring it in, make it seem like it's supposed to be that way. There's that. Go back over to dirt, go straight in, just kind of make it look, again, just appropriate in the way you would expect it to look. Now we're going to go into grass, which we have changed, and just paint this part grass right there because think yeah all right so i gotta tell you this it, it just it, i love farming i love farming simulator i love being able to get in here and do fun farming stuff but building like this like legos are my favorite thing to, 
to mess with in the world. Legos and Minecraft are my favorite games to play that involve building. And the fact that Farming Simulator's added this in, it gives the opportunity to kind of do stuff like that. And I, we're spoiled. We're spoiled rotten. And I love it. So I want to continue to do that, play with it a little bit. This actually needs to come up. You guys could probably agree that needs to come up, but you know what? We're not going to worry about it because the dog's got to get under somewhere, right? Am I right? I'm right. You're right, DJ. All right, let's move on. Next up, we need to add some type of tree at the end down here just so it looks kind of nice and uh, and gives it that that look. You know what I'm talking about when it gives it that look. About right here, something like that. One of these trees, what do you guys think? Uh, these may be too much, but they do show off well. There's one, there's another. How does that look? Does that kind of stand out? It certainly does stand out. It makes this area definitely look like there's something going on back there. But what? It's a gated community. But wait a minute. I could go around it. We can go around the hedge. So maybe we're going to have to build a hedge all the way around. I don't really want to do that because then we're going to have to come through and we're going to have to make the entire thing look right. It's not one of those properties. It's just a property where they moved into in the middle of the woods and they're like, you know what? We need something because it's, it's nice, but it could be nicer. And so we have the gate, which is quite nice. Okay, that is step one for today. At least to make a nice entrance. Next up, we need to buy a couple tractors and maybe a truck as well for this farm. Is this really a farm? A homestead. We've got them, baby. Purchased. Boom. That took a hot minute, especially to get over here and get everything done. So what do we have? We have the International 833. This is the 33 series we got, well, it was yesterday in game. This came out very cool. We've got something that resembles the first tractor that I ever drove, the 644 International. This might be the best sounding tractor I've ever driven right there. We've also got an International 1056 XL. It's got like 100 and some, 120, 130 horsepower with a turbo. Oh man, it sounds good. And just for fun, <laughs> just for fun, we've got one of these right here. This is the International Turbo 4166. Ooh, man, look at that thing. So one thing I did not know is Mannings of Lone Oak. If you get three or more case tractors, they give you something. <laughs> Not give it to you, but they let you have their case truck to get things from point A to point B. But the the only problem is this in IRL. This is like a, a bell loader, but, but we're gonna we're gonna use it anyway. But beside the point, what we're gonna do is we gotta jump in here, and I need to get this lowered out. So let's take the top off. Let's get the sides unfolded. There we go. Drop that down. But we got to figure out how to get stuff in there. How are we going to get stuff in there? Well, <laughs> we're going to use one of these. That's right. The Class Torian 1914. This has been very well done. Like, very, very well done. However, this is not part of the Class DLC. I repeat, this is not part of the Class DLC. This is just a fun mod. Yep, very fun mod. So fun, in fact, we're going to pick all these case tractors up with this mod. First up goes the 4166. Can we get this in a position to 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 do the please? Can can I have you? Uh this might not work how I thought it was gonna work. I'm not saying I used trickery to get that up there, but I'm not telling you how I did it. <laughs> Let's try a second time. Will this work? This is just not working, period, is it? Oh, these tractors are old, too, so that's going to be expensive. All right, you know what? Maybe you just get to do some trickery again. See? Was that too hard? Nah, not at all. <laughs> we got two more. Let's see if we can crash anything else today. Nice and easy. This isn't going to work. Nice and easy. This might be my favorite tractor in the whole game. This one right here. I love it. Easy. Come on, just the the thing that I want to do, just just let it happen. Come on, come on, do, no. do. No. Okay, I'm calm down now. Can can we just get one of these to work? Just one. I don't I don't care if it's just the one. I just want one of these to work how I want it to work. I just want to be cool, man. 
<laughs> it's one of those days. It is just one of those days where nothing works. Ooh. Oh, I got it. Slow. <laughs> I've got it. Look out. Easy. Easy. I'm definitely not taking a thumbnail of this. I want you guys, if you guys are watching, I want you to be the ones that get to experience this with me. Bruh. I got that up there on my own. I didn't pick things up, put it down like this. You just pick it up and go, wee. Oh, 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 no. I didn't do that with the last one. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> so we've got everybody's up here. Very good, very cool. Uh, actually, I do need to maneuver this a little bit because it's not completely straight. Oh, there we go. Just consider me like the Hulk or Superman or something irrelevant. Let's see. We need in this one right here. I need to back this up just a little bit. There we go. Also, look at these dudes' arms. <laughs> He's just going for it, man. I will, I will reiterate. Those things turn exactly like that. If you've ever driven an old tractor, especially an old international, you have to turn for days before that thing will go anywhere. All right. I think we're roughly good. Please have a locking script. Please have a locking script. Please have a locking script. Oh, me. Let's fold it up. See if anything goes straight out through the air. Nope, nothing did. What about the cover? The cover's on. And you can't see anything through it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, that... Oh, that, that hurt. That actually hurt a lot. Whew. Okay, we need to get this over to the st over to the house. But first, since we're done, let's go ahead and take the cover off real fast. I need a thumbnail. And this is definitely not going to be in the thumbnail. Unless I put it on the roof. You might go on the roof in a minute. Hang tight with me, y'all. Hang tight. <laughs> let's hop in here. And let's pull it up right beside Mannings of Lone Oak. Right about right there. Cut that. Get the front. And we're going to raise up just about like that. And get some area in front. There we go. Turn everything off. Boom. Smile and say cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. All right. Perfect. There's our thumbnail. Bam. Let's get this over to the main, main farm. Goodness. Well, we're not even out of the gate yet. And the 4166 is already jumping around like it knows exactly what's going on. It's got its nose stuck there. You ever see a dog that's got itself stuck somewhere, but its nose is sticking out? So you can see it, but it can't see you. I feel like that's kind of the way this is right now. <laughs> its nose is poking out. We've got to go extra, extra slow, and by that I mean extra, extra fast uh, in order to get there on time. I wonder, can we unfold while this is... We can. Is it a bad idea? Also, yes. Let's get out of there. <laughs> Come on. Uh, welcome to the uh, the video, everybody. If you're just joining us... Oh, it's just... It's bad. There's there's all kinds of roughness going on today. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I made a, uh, I made a trail. Like a, a road, a legit road. I made one. Like one to supposedly drive on and stuff, even though we haven't really done much of that. Roll through here. Oh, don't hit that. Ah, we got a little bit. It's okay. I do have crop destruction turned on, so that's definitely something to mind. What are we doing? We don't have four ways on. We don't have blinkers flashing. Nothing. We got to get all that rock and roll, and even though I've got the uh, traffic turned off. Now, here's where this is going to be interesting. Easy. Easy. There we go. Perfect. Rock it through. Also, I organized all this. Oh, it's a little glitch. It's a glitch monster. Slowly. Come on. You could do it. You could do it. While we're at it, just, just, just real fast, real fast. I'm going to leave that in there. So we've kind of made this area look a little bit nicer. I've got all of our trailers here, planter and cultivator there. If you come inside, on the right are all of our tractors, which we've got a bunch. Let's see, we've got our sprayer, we've got the uh, Steiger, we've got an old 7200, we've got one of our Optums there, we've got an older Steiger, a Case Magnum, another uh, Optum? It's Optum or Puma? That's a Puma. We've got our Dually, and then of course we have our Auger Wagon. 
We've got our loading wagon, and we have two semis plus a truck to get everything from to, to and fro. A couple mowers, and love this setup right there. It's for the trees. You guys think about that. Not too shabby, huh? Not too shabby at all. Let's make sure nobody's stolen anything. Nope, we still have four of them in there. Easy rock and roll. Also, people ask where I get some of my mods from. All the mods that you guys are seeing right now came from FarmingSimulator19Mods.com. Uh, I will do my best to leave a link to that in the description below. Just go in there, type in case. If you guys are on PC, you'll be able to download any kind of mods that you want. There's all kinds in there. Man, they have really nice mods. So just know that. Go in there, check it out. They got a whole lot of cool stuff. And one thing I did not think about was getting this semi through these gates. We're going to have to figure that out. Oh, swing wide, baby. There we go. Cool. Now that could not have gone any more perfect. Now all we have to do is behave ourselves coming up the hill right here and then get everything off. Now I'm going to show you how I am going to get all these tractors off of here. And it is super, super unrealistic. And it's going to be awesome. So let's back up just a hair. Get about right there. That's good. Turn it off. Open it up. Make sure everybody's there. Yes, they are. Sweet. So now, with the truck being there, I'm going to go in here. This is one way you could do this if you guys are home. Come in here and just return that. <laughs> they all fall to the ground. I love that. That's great. Let's go ahead and return this truck while we're at it. There it is. He's <laughs> still up in the air. What's up, dude? Watch what happens. They hit the gas now. Bam! Falls right to the ground. So let's put all these guys away. Let's find homes for everybody. This is going to be a really cool setup. Then we've got to go back because I have not got the truck yet. We've got to buy us this truck. And our last piece of equipment today is going to be the classic truck, just the, the base bog standard base game truck with the Anderson M160 on the back. That's right. Yeah, using this. I don't know what we're going to use it for, but I was like, you know what? Maybe one day we'll do something with uh, locking. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Oh, we're good. Maybe one day. Who knows? Not likely, but maybe. How many times have we said maybe already? Put that down in the comment section below. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we can do right now for this farm to make it good, I guess. To make it look right and, and be particularly perfect i can't think of anything i feel like we've pretty much got everything rocking and rolling right now put this right here because that's where that goes hop out and we're in a wall go ahead and leave that open there's no reason to close it up and we'll open this up too you know what that's what we need we need an atv let's jump in here let's buy ourselves one he's a mahindra we haven't used mahindra in a long time there it is let's purchase that right there boom let's stick it at first person Let's head over there. And since we don't need no stinking roads with this thing, we're going to go this way. First person, a little bit funky. However, third person works just fine with this. There you go. We made our own road over here. Heck yeah, man. Speaking of making our own road over here, just thinking about this. Might not be a bad idea. Let's put that there. Might not be a bad idea. Let me out of the house. Come on. Come on. Fine. You want to play that game? We'll play that game. <laughs> yeah. One thing that I was noticing is, wouldn't it be cool if we could drive under here and then continue out like a second entrance, second exit? I don't know. That might be kind of cool. We'll think about that and talk about that later on. If that's something you want to see, let me know. Otherwise, if there's anything else that you want to see on this map, let me know. I've got a couple ideas. I like being back here in the woods. Finally, I've got a uh, graphics card that can handle it. But... If there's anything else, let me know, because I've got a couple ideas myself, but I'm going to keep those quiet, at least for now. But with all that being said, that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you already, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. If you've got ideas, let me know what they are. All that being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.